What is going on, everyone? Welcome into Big Time Football Talk. So I've been thinking a lot about, um, you know, Texas football recently. You know, Arch Manning, the big commit, five-star number one overall player, number one quarterback. Uh, for that matter, for the 2023 class, he's the nephew of Eli Manning and Peyton Manning, the son of uh, Cooper Manning, and then he's Arch Manning's grandson. So big commit for the Texas Longhorns and uh, – you know, this has got me thinking about, you know, for a long time I followed Texas football, you know, pretty closely, even though not being a Texas fan, even though I kind of, uh, you know, sided for Oklahoma. You know, if I had to choose a team in the Red River, you know, it was always one of my favorite games to watch. I remember, you know, watching it back in the day. But it's really got me thinking about, you know, how fun Texas was to watch when you had the Vince Young era. And then uh, it led to Colt McCoy, how dominant, how good they were. And, uh, you know, I listened to an interview with, uh, you know, Colt McCoy and a guy that's affiliated with Texas football. And, you know, Colt McCoy, pretty honest about, you know, be, you know the program should be, you know, winning, you know, double-digit wins and, you know, having a lot of success playing in big games like Colt McCoy did. And it was interesting to me that he said the uh, he thought the 9 team that lost the national title was not as good as the 08 team. He thought the 08 team was better, um, which was interesting. But, uh, you know, what's too bad about the 09 team and uh, that loss to Alabama in the 09 national championship was, uh, you know, the way McCoy went out in that game, uh, the shoulder injury. It was almost in a way it was kind of symbolic of, uh, you know, what was what was yet to come for college football. That, uh, you know, Colt McCoy – Exiting that game and losing, it kind of, you know, passed the reins to Alabama and they kind of took over and it led to this, you know, this now decade of dominance. But, you know, it's too bad. After that game, Texas football wasn't the same. Five and seven the next year under Mac Brown. And, uh, you know, it was it was really just too bad to see, you know, the program just, you know, it's it tried. You had some nine and four years, a ten and four year uh, with Ellinger. Ellinger claimed they were back the one year, you know, uh, a lot of ups and downs. Uh, the Charlie Strong era came and went. Um, you also had uh, – who else was there? Tom Herman came over from Ohio State, previously the offensive coordinator um, at Ohio State. At, but he actually came actually came from Houston. He was the head coach. Uh, was at Ohio State prior to uh, being at Houston. But, uh, yeah, Colt McCoy, what a winner at Texas. What a great job he did. And, uh, you know, Garrett Gilbert, the guy that took over, we thought was kind of kind of going to be that next guy up, that next superstar for Texas football at the quarterback position. Just didn't quite happen for it. And, uh, you know, Mac Brown was out a few years later. Uh, Charlie Strong didn't have a lot of success or Herman. And then uh, now it is uh, is Steve Sarkeesian. Steve Sarkeesian trying to, uh, you know, be a winner in college football. But it's kind of one of those things that, you know, Sarkeesian, a lot of, uh, you know, mostly seven wins is his best season. I think he had was an eight win or nine win year. But, you know, as far as, you know, Sarkeesian being a big winner, it's kind of uh, it's kind of one of those things, you know, you kind of are who you are after you see it a couple times. Like, you know, like will Sarkeesian ever win big there? Maybe. But uh, he's had a track record of just being, you know, just a above average to uh, really average coach. So, you know, getting the Longhorns over the top, but uh, getting guys like Arch Manning, getting guys like Quinn Ewers transferring from Ohio State is huge. You also got, you know, arguably the best running back, wide receiver duo in the nation, Xavier Worthy and B. John Robinson. So, you know, Texas will be interesting this year, you know, with a three-headed monster, if you will, if Ewers is as good as advertised. Looked pretty solid in the spring game, made a lot of young mistakes. But, you know, Ewers, Bajan Robinson, Xavier Worthy has a chance to be, you know, a deadly three, uh, three-headed three monster. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what Texas can do. Big test in week two against uh, the University of Alabama. And, uh, you know, if somehow Texas wins that game, they are, uh, they're really going to be turning a lot of heads nationally. I don't see it happening, but, uh, boy, that would be something early on if they could get that done week two. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch on Texas football. Big win getting Arch Manning. You know, get uh, take a little a look back into the past. You know, Texas football, uh, you, you know, under Colt McCoy, Vince Young just seems like such a distant memory, and it was so good for college football to see Texas, that brand, uh, very good. You know, now just, you know, fighting to get back to, uh, you know, the winning ways, double-digit win seasons, you know, playing for conference titles and uh, competing for national titles. So just wanted to touch on the state of Texas football, kind of reflect back, talk about the Arch Manning commit. And uh, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for your continued support of the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Till next time, peace.